to tell me I should dumb it down. Say you're too conscious for the fans to feel you. Try to tell me I should calm it down. If you fight the system, they will try to kill you. Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Heat. Back at it again with another fire video. I do, do appreciate you guys for clicking in on this video. I do hope you guys enjoy. I do hope I appreciate any support you guys give. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe for me. Like I said a million times, you guys are not my fans. You guys are my supporters and my family. So let's go ahead and get into the video. This is one of my favorite videos to make and there's a reason why. First off, with this market crash, I think these are perfect videos for you guys to look at. And if you look at top my top five playlist, you can build yourself an outstanding team without any golden tickets. No, um, I do leave golden tickets out of this because if I didn't, they would be the main attraction. And I feel like I should give love to the other, you know, other cards in this game. I think we all know about the golden tickets. I think we definitely all know about the golden tickets, especially since this market crash. But I think I definitely uh want to go ahead and give that love to some of the other cards in this game. So we actually are in center today. And the center position is actually very, very scarce in Madden 20. Now, I do know um, that there are some power-ups right now that are going for quite a bit on the offensive line um, with this. So we got the best right guard. Um... I shouldn't say best. The David DeCastro, the highest overall right guard, is, is power up scoring for 50k. Same with um, Logan Mankins scoring for 20k. In in the right right tackle, you got Ryan Ramchek scoring for about 60 to 80k. Those are insane power ups. I've made about 200k just by selling the ones I had because I already had them. Just chilling, you know what I mean? So, we're going to get into my number 5 center in the game, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, this is kind of hard. The, the offensive line can get very, very risky. Can like You don't you don't know, you know what I mean? So, my number 5, number five center it has to be Ryan Jensen. Now, the reason for this is he, he's not bad. His awareness is very, very good. And that is the cream of the crop for him. His awareness. He's iffy on everything else. Pass block is a little bit higher than, you know, everything else. But the speed is... I mean, you don't really need speed at center, if I'm being honest. But the fact that it's this low, his strength is this low, and everything else is this low, it's just not a good look. Yes, he is number five. Because there aren't as many centers better than him, even at a lower overall. But there was one center I did find that was better than him. And uh, I think you're going to be surprised. So that, num that number four center that we have that is better than him is not a 96, a 95. And that is Eric Wood. As you see, stat that's all better than his, um, about better than Ryan Jensen's besides awareness. And that's okay. Um, even has 70 speed, which is higher, but he's more of a balanced center. And if you run Bills team team, if you run even the regular team, he is very, very solid. Um, I think definitely one of the biggest sleepers on center position. Um, would I move him any higher than four? No, because these last three centers are the best in the game, and you can't really get much better than what we have right here um, yet. Until they start dropping some better, you know, better content. But they're not doing bad so far. Center position is just a little bit, in my opinion, too scarce. Now, at number three position, we go ahead and have Frank Ragno, or Ragnow. I bet if I mispronounce that. Now, the reason we have him right here, it's very, very hard to choose. Do I want to go second or third with him? But I think I want to go third. Very, very good run blocking, but I've said this many, many times. Pass block is where you want your most linemen at because linemen already excel at run blocking in this game. I think we can all agree on that. 
But pass blocking, they get demolished. And it seems like it's really hard to find offensive linemen who can withstand some blocks. Who can hold some blocks for more than three seconds. But he is very, very good. Very, very cheap right now. Uh, 95 strength, which is nice. And uh, only 93 awareness, but that's okay. And very, very good speed at center. 76. We do like our speedy centers. And number two, and I think this may come to a shock to most of you. And there's a reason why I have him in number, number, number two and not number one. And, um, you know, I've, I've gone through this back and forth. I don't know. Thinking. Don't know. Thinking. And if I'm being honest, man, I really do think that Alex Mack plays better than Kevin Malway. No, no, no. I know. Sounds crazy. Yo, you're tripping. Been to the UK? I'm good. The thing is, with me, for me personally, I've used both, and that Alex Mack just plays better. And I'll, I'll go into more detail and reason into that, but he does he does play better for me um, I've used Kevin Molly before and I just feel like I got better production out of Alex Mack now like I said this can either go both ways you can either have Kevin Molly at number one or two it's either Alex Mack or Kevin Molly you choose uh, um, I'm personally choosing to put Kevin Molly at the second highest you know the best center in the game and it's not even really his fault. It's EA's fault for making his card not as good as it is in game, as it looks on stats. As you can see, his stats look insane. Everything's 95 and above. You even got really good speed. You got, you know, you got it all. You do. But he doesn't play like that, and I don't know what it is. I don't know why it is, but. I think that definitely needs a change in the future, especially since, you know, we, we are so scarce on center, centers. Centers. <clears throat> now, number one position, I talked about him a lot, talking about the number two position, is Alex Mack. And this is a personal, this is a personal, you know, basis, and I, and I st stand by this, as I do think Alex Mack is a better center. Especially for the price. You think about the price difference. Yeah, I think you agree now. But as you can see, very, very good awareness, and that's what I like to have in all my linemen and every other single position on my team. If you do not have awareness, I do not want you because I don't want you going to the left side when the runs to the right. I don't want you. I don't even playing playing dumbhead. And just on the defensive line doing nothing. I don't want you playing dumbhead while the guy screeches past you. Come on. Nobody wants that. He does have very, very good acceleration for a center, though. Speed is a little bit low, but that acceleration kind of makes up for it. Very, very good run blocking, but I have said this time and time again, run blocking doesn't, in my opinion, matter that much because run blocking is already so dominant. But if you do get a run block in... Offensive lineman like 98, it does become more dominant. His passing block, his pass block, it's kind of low. I wish it was a bit higher, but at the same time, pass blocking is going to get demolished anyways in the long run. So does it really matter? Yes, it does. I'm just being sarcastic. It does matter. Um, sadly, I wish he was a higher, you know, pass block, but he's not. Um, like I said, you can either put Alex Mack or Kevin Mawe at number one, number two, but for price price wise, I'm going to Alex Mack um, as a number one. I do appreciate you guys clicking on this clicking in on this video, and I do love to read you guys' comments. I answer back to every comment as long as you're not Tom, like or a bot. And Tom is a bot. Tom is a bot. Um, you know, saying want to be friends or whatnot. I don't answer those. But to you guys, I do, because I do appreciate the love and support. Go ahead and leave your top five in the comments. We can have a simple conversation about it. We could go in depth, as long as there's no arguing. 
and we keep the you know hatred out of my comments i do appreciate that so all i gotta say is i appreciate it and uh peace